I'm still waiting for my phone to get Android 13 update, but guess what? My Windows 11 PC got Android 13 update. Yes, it's like my PC is being treated better than my phone. Microsoft is doing great with the WSA update. They are keeping it like most up to date with latest Android really good and they should also you know shake hands with google so they can provide wsa with google play store it's not like you can't get google play store but you have to use third-party tools third-party ways to get the google play store but still it would be like better if they can you know provide google play store i mean if you're on windows 11 then you know what wsa is it's a android system that runs within your windows 11 pc and you can run android apps games whatever you want to run so this is the version of uh, wsa that includes android 13 update which is like the latest android version i know some of you guys just want to get the latest update of wsa with android 13 don't worry i'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial how to get it with google play store actually if you're on like dev builds of windows 11 or you use the wsa preview beta channels then you'll get this update automatically but uh, what if you want to get the google play store there is this project at github called magiscon wsa i have a tutorial on it how to use it uh, to use this tool you'll need a linux or you can use a wsl i have a tutorial on how to use magiscon wsa local with wsl which i will put link in the description you can go there and watch it or you can just use a linux inside virtual machine so that's what i'm gonna do this is my ubuntu virtual machine and i'm gonna use this to download the wsa with google play store plus with the latest android 13 update just follow me go to this website uh, wsa on local uh, at github now just click on code and then uh, click on download a zip which will download a zip file now just go to your downloads folder unzip that zip file now go to unzipped folder all right and go to script and then run this run.sh right click and run as a program just like that now this will take some time if you're using this for the first time it will download some dependencies to run this program so it might take some time for the first time and uh, you will see this uh, interface here you need to select x64 if you have like regular intel or amd pc if you have an arm pc you're gonna have to select the arm 64 after that hit enter now in here you need to select the insider fast use your arrow key for navigation and to select uh, use space key on your keyboard and then hit enter if you also want to get root you can select this and this is the most important part if you want to get the google play store you have to click yes hit enter and after that select whichever you want hit ok here you can choose whether you want to keep the amazon app store or not i don't really use amazon app store that's the reason i'm downloading the google play store so i'm gonna hit no and in here do you want to have a root or not so i don't really like to use root so i'm i'm gonna go with the none if you like to use root then you can go with the magisk and in here you can compress the output hit, hit yes or no it doesn't matter so I'm going to compress it with 7-zip and enter your you know Linux password and hit enter and you can see this is the version that is being downloaded right now now once the download is completed uh, go to that folder again and go to output and in here you'll find the WSA file just copy it go back to your Windows 11 desktop paste that file uh, onto your Windows 11 desktop or wherever you want to paste it and unzip it and uh, uh, after that go to that unzipped folder and in here you'll find lots of files here uh, for WSA so to install WSA all you have to do is find this install.ps1 file right click and click on run with powershell just like that and it will install wsa and here we have the google play store it will automatically launch that and yeah you can sign in and download the games so i had the wsa already installed so it just upgraded my wsa that's it so if there is an update for wsa you can follow the same instructions and then run the install file 
and it will just upgrade to the next version. Now, if you don't want to use Magiscon WSA or you don't care about the Google Play Store, but you still want to get the you know latest WSA with Android 13 update, then open Windows Subsystem for Android settings and in here select this option. Join the Windows Subsystem for Android Preview Program. Click on it and it will open a website and in here just follow the instructions. Just sign up for Preview Program. Uh, if you do this, you'll get the latest WS update with Android 13. So yeah, that's another way, quick and easy way actually, if you don't care about Google Play Store and Root and whatever. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.